Am I even prepared to film? No, I am not prepared to film, but it's fine. My little bear's joining, called Larone. Why is he called Larone, you ask? This little bear was my little friend when I had coronavirus for the first time. It's a play on coronavirus. Say hi to him. I do have a cottage pie that will be ready soon, so I'm just gonna very, very quickly do my skincare with you, and then take a break eat my cottage pie and then be back. I think that actually works really well for everybody, doesn't it? So I'm missing one thing that I normally use. I normally go in with the Ren Steady Glow Tonic, but I've left that in the flat. My trusty pink honey dip thing, brow thing, whatever it's called. I've been using the Vitamin Bay Beauty Crop face spray to spray inside and I find that actually works really well. Let's just quickly get the brows out of the way because they are boring. Give them a little pat. We're gonna roll with it. We're not overthinking today. So I want to do my skincare and makeup with you because I wanted to have like a bit of a catch up, bit of a chat around this time of year because I feel like a lot of people put a lot of pressure on themselves to have like this best Christmas in the world. You're seeing everyone else having the greatest Christmas. And you're sitting there thinking, why am I not enjoying it as much as everyone else? If you're feeling like that, me too. I'm not the biggest fan of Christmas. I, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I just kind of get on with it and can't wait for it to be over. I'm not like a Christmassy person. I've never really, I don't know, like I've never really been that person that just loves christmas and if you're like that then you're not alone i think it's really really easy to watch everyone else have like this really great time and you're there just like why am i not enjoying it as much as everyone else is i'm the same i don't want to say anything bad about it because it's nice to see people enjoy christmas i think you know for the people that love it let them love it you know like don't judge i wish i was like that i'm just not right before i go and pick up my cottage pie i'm going to quickly try the walida skin food light so i've just spoke about this on my vlog i just got this today from tiktok shop and i've used the normal one for night cream but i find it really thick for daytime and my skin at this time of year needs oh, oh a little bit more something because it gets so I want to say like dry but it gets really sensitive gets really sore it just needs something so i'm going to try the light version and hopefully this sits really nicely on my skin and therefore my makeup sits nicely on it oh okay it smells basically the same it's got quite a strong scent if you've used it before you'll know what i'm talking about okay it's giving me a lovely glow I'm gonna let this sink in for five minutes whilst I go get my cottage pie. My cottage pie is too hot to eat right now, so. It's interesting. My skin does look so glowy though. I do like the glow. Oh, I'm starving though, I can't wait to eat my cottage pie. Last thing is SPF. Always wear your SPF. Don't forget the neck. My skin is glowing and it is loving it. I don't know what kind of vibe I wanna go for today because I was speaking about this on my vlog. I normally film a makeup video to then film another video. I don't just do my makeup just to then sit at home. But it is snowing. And my car is not built for the snow at all. So I am stuck at home. I was going to go to Starbucks and get like the Christmas menu and just sit and chat and have a catch up. But instead... Um, I'm not doing anything so I did not want to film anything today because I've got the day off so I want to be productive but it's just kind of ruined my vibe a little bit so I don't actually know what kind of makeup I want to do I might just do literally like my simple everyday basic makeup because the last makeup I did I think was more like get ready with me lashes hair that kind of thing whereas I'm thinking like cozy vibes chill natural ish you know that kind of thing cool yeah I'm gonna do that most importantly I wanted to make a video. There are two main reasons why I wanted to make this video today and what I want to talk about. Number one is Christmas. The whole lead up to Christmas, just the whole feeling of it. I don't know why I'm holding lip gloss like that's my next thing. Um, but also, number two, I have recently, well not recently now, I think it's been a little while, I made a video about my colposcopy, smear test, that kind of thing. If you haven't seen it and you're interested, um, I'll link it down below. And it's all about my experiences with all the stuff that I've had to, had have had done so far. Essentially, I've got an update for you. 
which is a little bit of a crap one <laughs> ignore my beauty blender um or sponge it it's filthy. All of my spare ones are in my flat. When I do my natural makeup, I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I really want to try the e.l.f. one, which I'm probably going to try and get once this runs out. I don't tend to actually use this under foundation anymore. I find that it makes my foundation a little bit funky. Christmas time. Ugh. I'm going to use the Contour Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. Although, why is their hair? Contour Wand in... I think it's light to medium? Fair to medium, yeah. The one thing though, it does explode. I haven't used this in ages, so I don't know what it's going to be like. Let's give it a go. I don't know, this might be an absolute mess, but it's fine. If you're like me and just isn't the biggest fan of Christmas and just festivities and just being like overly excited about Christmas, then you're not alone. I'm exactly like that. I don't hate it, but I'm just not the biggest fan. I just think like i don't want to like take the fun away from people that do enjoy it because i think if you enjoy it then that's great the whole like build up just uh for like one day people go so extreme with buying presents and like it's great if you can afford it comfortably and you have that kind of lifestyle but a lot of people in the world don't have that lifestyle where they can just buy whatever they want for their friends family like i don't have that I can't just afford to buy what I want for my family. I would love to be able to. What is happening here? Oh, no, 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 no. Something is crumbling. Oh, no. And I can't tell what that is. What is crumbling off my skin? I can't tell if that's because of the moisturiser, if that's my flawless filter, if that's the contour. Oh, it was going so well. What do I actually do in this situation? I just have to, yeah, scrape it off. Oh. Now I'm just going to have makeup all in my hair. Well, that's fun. I don't know what happened there, what makeup that made it do, or if it was the moisturiser. I'm pretty sure it can't be the moisturiser, surely. Surely not. I'm going to be fuming if it is. Yeah, I feel like the whole lead up to Christmas is definitely really difficult for a lot of people. Like, I see people just be like, oh, I'm going Christmas shopping and buying um, to buy loads of presents. And obviously, like, it's amazing if you can afford to do that. But a lot of people can't. So it, it's a bit of a tricky one because you don't want to obviously take the fun away from the people that can, you know, live a comfortable life. Because what, they can't enjoy their life because not everyone has that money. Like, that's also not fair, you know, especially if they work really hard for what they've got. Because if I had the money and if I was like, all, you know, comfortable with what I had and what I was earning, this makeup is just not it i don't know what's happening with it then i would yeah treat everyone <clears throat> with a lot of presents and i wouldn't like hold back in what i was buying because it's my money i can do what i want with it you know i also get it's really really difficult watch all these like vlogmases where they where everyone's doing something really christmasy every day and they have all these families they go and see and like one thing you've got to remember is no one's showing you the sad parts of Christmas because they want to display the good parts so you get to watch the videos and feel better and relax and just have like a nice time watching videos even their Christmas or lead up to Christmas is not perfect and they probably still struggle with things that they don't necessarily mention uh, I mean some youtubers obviously talk about their problems and are very open but not everyone is so you know, if you follow someone that is very, really, like, into Christmas and all they talk about is the positives, like, just remember, like, it's not always perfect or as perfect as it may seem. They just want to show you the good parts so you can watch their videos and go and, like, smile and forget about your problems if you've got problems, you know? If you're, like, that type of person that doesn't necessarily like the Christmas hype, the, like, Christmas activities, but yeah, just generally you just see Christmas as overhyped, like, just... Try not to put yourself in a situation where you might feel like, where you might feel a little bit sad about it or, yeah, where it might actually affect you. But I get it. I'm not that into Christmas. I think Christmas is a little bit overhyped in my eyes. My Christmas is always really quiet. And I know a lot of people have like really big families and they see everyone. Whereas for me, it's kind of like, it's just very calm. It's very quiet. Like I don't have a lot of family here. So it's normally just my parents and my brother. And we just spend it together i know it's really difficult but just try and tell yourself like it's just another day and just let people enjoy it if they want to enjoy it and you just keep out of it in a way as much as you possibly can like i know it's 
hard where every video is a vlogmas video and you're like really everyone's just doing all these christmasy stuff and yeah it is difficult my makeup is actually coming off my skin i don't know if you can see that but it's actually crumbling off but yeah that's kind of why i disappear around christmas and a lot of my friends just don't really see me in december and it is just because i just remove myself from a situation that might make me feel a little bit shitty because yeah my christmases are never really that big like a lot of people have a lot of family that they all see whereas for me i don't see a lot of family i just stay at home Maybe the setting spray will help. Oh, I forgot to prime. I always forget to prime. Living out of a makeup bag as well, because obviously I'm not even at home anymore. So don't feel the pressure that you have to, every single day, be in this massive Christmas spirit, singing Christmas songs, watching Christmas films. You don't have to do any of that. It's your Christmas at the end of the day. Don't feel pressure to do what everyone else is doing. Because at first I was like, oh, maybe I should do something related to Christmas. And I was actually going to do like daily vlogging on TikTok. It's like a little vlogmas thing. I was like, that ain't me. I'm not a Christmas person. My vlogs are not going to be Christmas related. So there's no point in me doing vlogmas. I mean, I have been to the Christmas markets in Manchester because they are great. And I did go to Winter Wonderland. But yeah, I mean, I'm not the most Christmassy person ever. So... I do a little bit because I like a little bit, but that's it. Quick update on my smear stuff. Um, my camera is going to die soon, so that's great. So I had a letter and it basically says that they, the result, the last result was fine. It was correct. But the next date of my next appointment was wrong. So just to be sure, they want to do another colposcopy, which I'm not mad about the fact that they're being extra cautious. I'd rather them be extra cautious than not. But that was the one that I hated the most out of all the three things that i had done so i'm starting to get anxiety over it i'm starting to get really really nervous it's coming up in like a week's time by the time you're watching this i think i would have already had it so i will kind of let you know we'll give you an update as on when it's next like appropriate i mean i'm glad that they're being extra cautious so it's annoying because i really don't like that procedure and i'm getting yeah, I really bad anxiety over it. I don't want to do it. I hated it so much. But it's one of those things that I have to do. So I'll let you know how it goes if you're interested. My makeup is crumbling off. So, I mean, this was fun. But this is basically what I do apart from the crumbling. I don't know what's happened here. I'm going to have to take this off and reevaluate Because I have, like, a patch now on the side of my head. I don't know if you can see here. But... It's just not looking good. I mean, a good, good day today. Very good day. I'm so, so happy that's happening. I hope you kind of enjoyed my little chat about Christmas. I hope you feel better. Try and not put too much pressure on yourself at this time of year and just enjoy December the way that you want to enjoy December. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.